The 3.8 billion shillings is meant to cushion over 3 million families facing starvation. There are some areas, because of scarcity of water actually, we have cholera cases. And as the Senator also said, there are schools that have closed because of uh, the ongoing uh, situation. And uh, we have part of uh, uh, our budget will go towards ensuring we bring relief to the schools as well so that uh, learning can still go on even as the drought persists. Already four counties have been identified as the most affected with the coastal region bearing the biggest burden. Uh, Kilifi was the hardest hit. We went to areas like Bamba, Kikoneni, uh, Kinango, uh, where my friend Gonzirai was, and the situation was bad. As we speak, the drought persists, and uh, it, some areas is getting worse. We have already mobilized enough food and uh, resources, uh, both for uh, uh, the humans and uh, livestock, to ensure that no Kenyan loses their life because of the, the persistent drought in our country. We have another category of uh, almost 10 that are equally uh, affected. We are talking about Mandera, uh, we are talking about Wajia, and uh, other counties like Turkana, uh, when you go to Kambani, Kitu is affected. But today, even as we meet here, I want to assure the governors of all the Asal counties, particularly those seriously affected, that help is on the way, and no Kenyan is going to die because of this uh, drought situation. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa, who will be overseeing the program in Tanariva County, is attributing the current state to the wanton destruction of water catchment areas and a depleted forest cover, warning of a prolonged crisis if the long-term solutions are not forthcoming. We must work together to ensure that we have reforestation, to ensure that we take care of our water towers, we ensure that we take care of our water catchment areas and we plant trees and we also take care of our riparian areas. So these are things that uh, we cannot say that we leave to the national government or to the county government. It takes every Kenyan doing their part, planting that tree instead of cutting that tree, to be able to deal with the challenges uh, of climate change. It might look like a local issue when a river dries up, in your local area, but it is a global issue, it's a global challenge. Wamalwa underlined the need for the country to invest in the restoration of water catchment areas and dams that will see a drastic increase of food production as part of a long-term mitigation plans. It is true that Kenya has the potential and the prospects of actually being transformed from a food insecure country to a food secure country. Actually, we can become a food surplus country. So what we are facing today are just challenges of today and tomorrow, but in the long run, we will be able to get out of this and to stabilize and to remove Kenya from the list of food insecure nations of the world. Juni Karisa from Mombasa County.